Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET using store procedures how to bind data from database into details view using link to SQL class. And here we got the final output. Notice we got the pagination at the bottom to this details view control. Let's select the third page, fifth. And the last one that's it I have binded the data from database into this details view using stored procedure with a link to SQL class if you are a first-time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before writing the coding part in Visual Studio first we'll check the table and column names after that we'll create a new stored procedure I'm expanding the root folder as well as I'm expanding the databases. Notice in the databases that the last there is a sample DB which is my user database. I'm expanding that one. The table subject I'm expanding. For this demo purpose, I'm using the table name EMP table. Let's browse the table. Select top thousand rows. And here we got the results of this EMP table which contains 5 columns EMP ID, EMP name, designation, department and joining date. My aim is I want to bind this data, the EMP table data into details view using stored procedure with the link to SQL class. So let's create a new stored procedure in the same sample DB database. We have a folder. So programmability expand that one in the program built there is a stored procedures folder right click the stored procedures new stored procedure and here we got the default stored procedure I'm deleting the default code I'm adding that dbo dot show EMP which is my stored procedure name and the select statement is select start from the table name is emp table dbo dot emp table copy this one and paste it let's execute the stored procedure execute and the command is successfully create the command completed successfully let's check the stored procedures refresh the folder and here we got the show EMP table. Now let's open Visual Studio. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new ASP.NET project. Go to File, New, Project. And from the web templates, I'm selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is Details View Bind Stored Procedure. link to SQL is the project name and from the templates I'm selecting empty click OK and the project is created successfully open solution explorer now in this project I'm adding a new web form page I click the project name add web form EMP details. Click OK. And here we got the source page of this EMP details.aspx page. Now between form and do tag, I'm adding center tag. I'm adding header tags. How to bind data from database into details view using store procedure link to SQL after that I'm adding horizontal line after the horizontal line I'm adding the details view control let's open toolbox 
I'm expanding the data folder. In this data folder, there is a details view control. Add that one. So after adding the details view, uh, let's add the database in the server explorer. Right click the data connections, add connection. I'm adding a SQL server name. After adding server name, I'm selecting the database name. The sample DB is my user database. I'm selecting that one. Test connection is succeeded. Okay, okay. And here we got the sample db.db was added under data connections. Now the next step is let's add a new link to SQL class in the solution explorer. Right click the project name, add link to SQL. I'm changing this item name to EMP class. Click OK. And here we got the EMP class model. Let's drag and drop the stored procedure in this dbml page. Open server explorer. Expand the sample db.dbo. Now in the sample db.dbo we got some objects here. The third object is the stored procedures. Let's expand that one. And our stored procedure name is show EMP. Just drag and drop on this dbml and notice once I drag and drop here the show EMP store procedure is added I can switch back to the EMP details right click the mouse go to view code in the page load event if not page dot is post back I'm adding the object EMP class data context. EMP class data context EC is the object is equals to new EMP class data context. Variable get EMP details is equals to I'm adding the link query here from x in EC dot I'm adding the store procedure name which is a show EMP select x dot to list method after that let's bind the data to the details view control details view one dot data source is equals to get EMP details details view one dot data bind method that's it we have binded the EMP details table into this details view control using store procedure now to display the records in the details view in the details view we need to add the fields column after that bound field header text is equals to employee ID and data field is equals to in the data field we have to add the column name the column names are EMP ID copy this one and paste here let's copy this one we have five columns so I am adding five data bounds bound fields the second header text is a employee name the data field is a name the third column name is a designation just copy this one header text and data field the next one is a department And the last one is a joining date. The header text is a join date, and data field is joining date. Joining date D capital.
let's increase the width 425 I'm adding the property auto generate rows is equals to false let's check the output the EMP table is binary into this details view or not Google Chrome and here we got the output the EMP details are binary into this details view control and by default the details view displays only single record at a time but in our EMP table contains seven records so let's add the pagination stop debugging in the details view I'm adding the property auto generate no, uh, allow paging sorry allow paging is equals to true and after that I switch back to the design double click the details view to generate the page index changing event of the details view let's add the code the details view one dot page index is equals to e dot new page index I'm adding this data context about the page load and instead of writing the same code I'm just copying this part I'm adding here that's it we have done the complete coding part I'm reloading the browser link we'll check the final output and here we got the final output notice we got the pagination at the bottom to this details view control let's select the third page fifth and the last one that's it I have binded the data from database into this details view using stored procedure with a link to SQL class